Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for joining us tonight where the two and two Comets are playing host to the 0-5 Falcons. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined tonight by Gavin Hickel. Good to have you today, Gav. It's good to be here. Glad to be back. And uh, so you had a uh, pretty big wrestling, uh, well, a tournament this morning. Yes. So, uh, and ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go back and check that out at any time, you can on rtctv4.com. And we've got uh, Autumn over here on the camera. Say hi to her, but she doesn't have a headset, so we can't do that. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, exciting basketball tonight. Um, John Harrell's predicting uh, only an 11-point spread, so uh, should be an exciting matchup. Uh, I know that the uh, JV Comets just were able to pull out a win against the JV Falcons just a few minutes back, so looking forward to seeing if the Comets can keep up that momentum. And, uh, yeah. What'd you say uh, was the John Harrell prediction? I blacked out. Uh, it, it's an 11 point spread. I want to say like 50, 55, 44, or something like that. Ah. Uh, um, so, of course, the, the Falcons are going to be here again. They've got a uh, an 0 and 5 record so far this season. So, you know that they're going to be here pushing to get their first win for the season on the board. Um, I, I really think it'll be, uh, be a good matchup. Well, with four minutes until the game actually starts, though, uh, we're going to give you folks at home a chance to grab your snacks, grab you something to drink so that you're ready to go. And uh, we're going to take this moment to step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Comets Basketball on Caston TV on RTC TV4. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we've got a uh, very special presentation of going on out here on the floor. Uh, our uh, Mr. Don King was diagnosed with lymphoma earlier this year. Uh, he's been the Comets broadcaster for, I'm not sure exactly how long. A long um, time, done all my football games. And uh, I see out here on the floor, it looks like we have, it's looking like um, previous uh, previous cheerleaders, and they're all uh, wearing lymphoma awareness shirts. It's pretty cool. I knew that we were having uh, some special presentation stuff for Mr. King tonight, but uh, I did not know that they were bringing back previous generation cheerleaders um, and that that comes into play for those of you at home who are unaware uh, Don's wife Ellen is our cheerleading coach and again this is she's been cheerleading coach um, I know my sister-in-law who uh, was here in the early 2000s um, or, or late 90s and early 2000s, uh, Ellen was her cheerleading coach, so. She's been doing it for a while. And uh, you, you're not, it's just impossible to be involved with a school that long without having an impact mm -hmm. on the community. And so it's really awesome to see the community support here behind Don. I'm, I'm very glad they did this, you know. I've, Don was my you know, youth basketball coach right. for the longest time. You know, like I said, he announced football games, did all sorts of stuff. And we are thinking of them, and 
and supporting them tonight and every night as they take on this battle. As you can see, there are several of Helen's former cheerleaders cheering alongside our current cheerleaders and several of Don's former basketball players as well, all helping to cheer for a cure. Not only is this a time for the cast and family to show their support for Don and Ellen, but it's also a time to show our appreciation for the extensive time and work these two have put in over the years. This year marks the 40th year that Don has been coaching, and Ellen has coached for over 35 years, and hopefully many more to come. The shirts you see so many people wearing here tonight have also been sold to help raise money to support these two in their fight. And a check for over $1,000 we presented to them at this time. It is a token of our gratitude, although we know it is not nearly enough for all that they do. Don and Ellen, thank you for all the time and dedication you've given and continue to give to the Gaston family. It has not gone unnoticed and will forever be greatly appreciated. That's awesome. That, that really is. That's great.
Well, I'm not sure what else is going on over here. Maybe it is just a picture. That's okay. It's awesome. It's a lot of former cheerleaders right there. <clears throat> Well, I heard uh, Mr. Butchkowski say 35 years cheerleading coach, 40 years youth basketball coach. That's. I mean, I even see some of our teachers in there. So, Mrs. King has been doing this for a long time. At this time, I'd like to have everyone rise, move your hats, and join me as we honor America with the play of our national anthem. <coughs> Tonight, our national anthem will be performed by the cast and band under the direction of Miss Olivia Wooler. Right, it's about time for some starting lineups. One of these days I'm gonna have the starting lineups early, Gavin, but today's not that day. Announce them you know, before everything else, then get it out of the way. For Frontier, number four, Luke Bauer. Number five, Kobe Ingersoll. Number, did he say 50? He did say 50. Not a number you see every day. <laughs> and we've got uh, number 22, Trevin Gerard, and number 24, Max Copas. Number 50 I've got down as a JV number of his Reed Mears. I don't, oh wait, no, right there, Ethan Dwiggins. I'm blind, Gavin, blind. I, I suspected that. It's gonna be one of those nights. Got number four, Luke Lau. Number 21, Joey Spin. Number 13, Hunter Shanlob. Number 11, Cam Klein. And number 33, Mike Kranz.
Well, it looks like uh, Hunter has some height there in Gerard. See if he's able to use that to some advantage and Gerard catches. may have hops up. He, that, that's true. Never know. Sometimes. That's true. And there's the tip. Goes to Rands. It's going to hand it off to Spin. Spin going across midcourt. We got uh, Bauer waiting for him at the volleyball line. Passes it to the right. It's put out of bounds down in the post. Got Angersoll now across midcourt. Passes it over to Copas. Copas tries to send it underneath. Gets picked off by Luke Lau. Lau down to the post to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb gets caught. Bad pass. Tries to pass to the opposite post. Dwiggins gets in there, but couldn't keep a hold of it. Goes out of bounds. That was a kind of a lucky keep for the Comets. Rands goes up, can't quite pull it off. Frontier with the rebound. Over on the right side, number 22, Gerard. Back up to the volleyball line, Bauer. To Dwiggins, back to Bauer. Bauer staying up around the mid ring. Sends it over to Copas. Back up to Dwiggins. Dwiggins to Bauer. Klein almost got a hand on that. Up to Angersoll. Dwiggins. Back up to Gerard at the top of the key. Over to Angersoll on the left. You know, Kasten looks like they're putting in heavy defense because it's just, from the way it looks, they got to wait and wait for someone to get open. Underneath, number five, Kobe Ingersoll lays it in there. Frontier drawing first blood here tonight. Over to Lau on the left side. Top of the key, volleyball line to spin. Over to Rands, back to Rands for three. Off the rim. Frontier with that rebound. Falcon's gonna put on a full court press here. Spin back to Rands, back to spin. Back, back to, to Rands. Rands. <laughs> Up to Lau. Lau's gonna dribble it across midcourt. Rands into the paint, tries to float it up, no good. Falcon's getting the rebound. Bauer coast to coast, and it's good. Falcons now getting their groove out to a four nothing lead. We're over to Lau here on the left sideline. Klein up to Rands at the volleyball line. Going to go underneath to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb for two. Pace of the game slowing down here for a second. Angersoll across midcourt. Down to Copas. Back up to Co uh, Sure, Gerard. That's the name I'm looking for. Left side to Ingersoll underneath. Shot up and no good by Gerard. Comments with that rebound. Spin out to Rands. Rands back up to Klein. Klein for three. three. In oh. and out. That was round the ring. That's always heartbreaking. Falcons getting that rebound. There's a three. Three-pointer for Max Copas. Did they call that a Rams? No, they called it on um, number okay. five. Okay. Well, that's a collision there. Oh, and that's who I thought it was on, but I could have. I I thought the ref said white foul. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I thought the same thing. <laughs> anyway. Ingersoll with his first, team first, and game first foul. Spin just makes it across midcourt, dishes it off to Klein. 
<laughs> Spin going to the basket, drawing the foul. He'll go to the line shoot too. Foul was on number 22, Trevin Girard. First shot up, in and out. Somebody go check that basket. That's the second comet shot that's... How could you... I don't know, maybe it's like uh, one of those Matchbox Cars tracks. They got the the motors running around it, so when it hits it, it just spins it out. Somebody go knock the lid off that basket. <laughs> second shot up. That one was good. Spin slow across midcourt. He's going to put some pressure on uh, Bauer. Bauer at the center ring. Spin right up there with him. Crossover into the paint. Dishes it down. Back into the hands of Bauer. Bauer for three. Off the mark. And it looks like we had a foul down here. Foul on number 22, Trevin Gerard. His second, team third. Then we had Jesse Rock Wolf come in for the comments. Lau back to Rands. Rands over his spin on the right. Over to Shane Lobb in the right corner. Top of the key to Lau. Lau for three, and it's good. Drained it. His first shot attempt even on the night. Right? Was bringing it back into a one-point game. Three minutes left here in the first. Over on the right side to Bauer. Bauer up to the volleyball line to number three, Cameron Mickle. Left side to Ingersoll. Spin almost getting in there. Three point attempt off the mark. And we've got a foul down here. Is that on Rands? It was not, that was on Shane Lobb. His first, team first. I didn't see what happened. Did he shove him out of bounds? I think it was just a collision down there, but. Bauer on the right side. Send it up to the top of the key to Copas. Back down to Angersoll. Three off the mark. Rebound by Hunter Shane Lobb. Taking it up. To Mike Rands. Rands, Rands to, to Lau. Spin the volleyball line over to Rands. So far, passes are looking fairly good. I've seen a lot of like cross court floaters. Down to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb gonna head towards the baseline, send it back up to Lau on the right. Shane Lobb goes up for two. Comets now with a one point lead. Bauer coming up to midcourt. Across the line, kicks it off to Ingersoll. Spin right up there with him. Sends it into Dwiggins. Back out to Bauer. Bauer with fake to the right, goes left, sinks it for two. Falcons with the one point lead. Rands back to spin, spin across mid court to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb goes baseline, dumps it down to Rockwolf. Rockwolf goes up, hard fought two points there. I didn't even think he was gonna get it. He had that big kid over him and everything. I'm, he actually got fouled. The refs didn't see it. He got the points. I mean, the and one attempt would have been nice, but whatever. Mickle now. Mickle to Bauer. Bauer the volleyball line. He's going to go left, hands it off to Ingersoll. Ingersoll back to Mickle. Mickle heads left. Bauer's at the top of the key. For some fancy footwork. Fakes right, goes left, puts it up for two. Rebound there by Rands. Spin back to Rands. Up to spin at the volleyball line, over to Lau. 30 seconds, they're gonna slow it down just a little bit here. 
Over to Rockwolf on the side, across the court to spin. Spin goes baseline, gets buried, sends it back outside. Over to Rockwolf, back to Lau. Lau with the volleyball line. Sends it over to Rockwolf, almost goes out of bounds. Back to Franz in the corner. Out of bounds off of the Comets. Ingersoll into Bauer. Bauer lobs one off at the buzzer. And at the end of first, Comets with 10, Falcons with nine. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, after an exciting first quarter of basketball. Comets with a one-point lead, 10-9. Second quarter underway, ball lobbed in to Max Copas. Back up to Ingersoll, he's at the middle ring. Sends it over to Bauer, Bauer drives baseline, pulls up, floats in. Shot's no good, but he draws the foul. He'll go to the line for two. Foul was on number 10, Cade Zyder, his first. Team second. First shot, in and out. That's not Ingersoll, that's power. At least according to uh, my roster. Second shot, good. Falcons putting the pressure on, now they've got it tied up. Zyder across midcourt. Back up to spin, nearly an intercepted pass there. Down to Smith, can't quite keep his hands on it, goes out of bounds. Bauer just kind of bounces it over to Ingersoll. Ingersoll middle ring, he's gonna send it over to Copas. Copas there on the left. Sends it up to Mickle. Mickle to the right side to Ingersoll. Ingersoll floats it up underneath to Dwiggins. Dwiggins shot off the mark. Comments with a rebound. Shane Love to Zyder, Zyder to Rockwolf. Rockwolf fakes the three, goes baseline. And one, puts it up for two, draws the foul. Foul was on number 50, Ethan Dwiggins. His first, team, team fourth. I love hearing the crowd light up for an and one. I mean, either team, to be honest, just because. Shots know. up off the back of the rim, comments with the rebound. Spin, top of the key, or volleyball line, rather, over to Rockwolf. Rockwolf down to the post, sends it to Rands. Rands gets stuffed by Dwiggins. Dwiggins looked like he just got slapped in the face. I I think he uh, he took a shot to the head uh, when Rands was trying to get that rebound. Bauer bringing it across the timeline. Thomas with two point lead. Bauer sends it over to 
Copa is in the corner. Copa three-point off good. Or off good. Off, off the mark. Comets with the rebound. Smith at the post. Puts it up for two. That was kind of a hard fought, too. He was. Bow went right up. Stuck it. Bauer goes right. Dumps it off to Ingersoll. Ingersoll to uh, Mickle. Back to Bauer. It's moving that ball outside the arc really well. Bauer for three. Off the rim. Comments with that rebound. Ooh, sending it hard down to the post. And we've had a timeout down here. So we're going to step away for this word from our sponsors. You're watching Comments Basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 5.39 left in the half. Comets 14, Falcons 10. And this has been exciting basketball so far. Comets now putting on some pressure. Ingersoll across Falcons uh, volleyball line. Struggling to get across mid court. Kicks it into Wagner. Back up to Ingersoll. Over to Copas. And pocket pick by Mike Rands. Nice deal. Shane Lobb at the post. Sends it back to Rands. Rands for two. No good. Gets his own rebound. And there was a hatchet job down there. That was a swap fest. Fouls on number three, Cameron Mickle. That's his first. Team fifth. Wow, looking for the inbound. Sends it to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb back to Lau. Lau on the right side, sends it down to the right post to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb kicking it up to Rands at the middle ring. Over to Klein. Left side to Zyder, underneath to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb dumps it down to Rands. Rands for two. Rands first basket of the evening right there. Mickle over to Ingersoll. Ingersoll into two-man coverage in the middle at midcourt. Mickle trying to fight past Lau. Dump back off to Ingersoll. Lau coming to the top of the key. Over to Mickle. Mickle faking the three. Nearly got Klein to commit to that block. Underneath to uh, Ingersoll. And we got an over-the-back foul there on uh, Mike Rands. His first. Team third. Kobe Ingersoll on the line for two. First one, nothing but net. Frontier is going to need all the points they can get. It being, well, <laughs> looks as though it could be a closer game. Like you said, it was only 11 point spread. Second shot, up and good. Plus two for Ingersoll. Lau up to the center ring. Sends it over to Zyder. They're going to call a foul on Mickle, his second. Team sixth. It was kind of a sloppy pass there, though. Lucky call for the Comets. Rands to Shane Lobb, over to Zyder. Zyder for three, in and out. There it is again, the in and out. Got a foul called here. Another fortunate foul for the Comets. Fouls on number four, Luke Bauer. His first, team seven. 
Shane Lobb at the line for one and one. Drained it. Second shot up. On the money. And just real quick, Gavin, I got a text message just now. Um, our good friend Hunter Schaefer is homesick right now. I wondered why he wasn't out here bringing the ball out on the floor. Oh, really? Yeah, he's a homesick. I want to give a shout out to Hunter Schaefer. We're thinking of you, bud. Get well soon. Get well, my guy. It is awful not seeing him out here. I, I, I thought it was really weird, and that explains it. Foul here on Cam Klein while we were talking. His first. Bauer underneath the anger wide for open. A wide open layup. Four point game. Thomas still with the lead. Spin across midcourt. Over to Lau. Lau going to send it to the corner. Shane Lau back up to the volleyball line to spin. Over to Klein. Klein fakes the three. Volleyball line. Klein on the right, three off the mark. Comets with the rebound. Jump ball, Comets keep possession. Rockwolf back in, Rand's gonna take a bench. Shane Lobb underneath to Rockwolf. We're gonna have another jump ball. Frontier number 33, Justin Smith, was in the right place at the right time to wrap that one up. Just under three minutes left in the half. Comets still lead by four. Bauer across midcourt. Sends it to the top of the key to Smith. Back to Bauer. <laughs> A few hops there, Bauer. Mickle got stuffed by Hunter Shanelob. I thought for a second there that was a foul. Nope, all ball. There was a foul down here on the court, though. Foul number three, Cameron Mickle, his third. Team eighth. We're going to send spin to the line for one and one. Shots up. Net kind of barely moved on that one. That's what they're supposed to look like. Mine have never looked like that. Second shot up. Oh, got Just the lucky good. roll on that one. Satisfying, it really is. Comets by six now. 228 left in the half. Comets putting a good bit of pressure here on the Falcons. Angersoll going to send it back to Bauer. Bauer across midcourt. Lost possession. Manages to find a break, though. All the way to the hole. No good. Dwiggins with the putback. Also no good. We're going to call a foul here on Shane Lobb, I think. That looked like a shove. Or like yeah, that, really was, that was Shane punch. Lobb. I, <laughs> it's his second. Rand's back on the floor for the comments. Falcons lob it way up to the volleyball line to Bauer. Bauer over to Smith. Smith here on the right. Goes underneath to Dwiggin. Dwiggin with the power dribble. Puts it up off the mark. Bauer with the rebound. Back to Dwiggin. Dwiggin getting another one off the mark. And he's going to draw the foul. Foul was on number 22, Rockwolf, his first, team sixth. And 
Sam Smith going to give Rock Wolf a spell. I kind of thought that, uh, kind of thought Jesse fouled Dwiggins on the, uh, on the shot. Bad inbound there by the uh, Falcons. Mike Rance putting it up for two, though. Rance coast to coast for two, effort. yes. And we've got a kick here. Yeah, I'm sure I've completely lost track of uh, turnovers here. I mean, I've got some tally marks on the sheet, but I don't think this is even almost right. You gotta crunch what you got, though. <laughs> Well, we've got is some awesome basketball happening down here, so it's hard to keep track. Very true. Bauer over to Smith on the left. Smith to Ingersoll. Just inside the three-point arc. We're going to kick it back up to Copas. Copas over to Bowers here on the right side of the arc. Oh. Smith went to cut towards the basket, and Bauer passed it where he was. That's not going to work. Cade Zider back in for the Comets. 118 left in the half. Comets 22, Falcons 14. Ball in play to Joey Spin. Ingersoll putting a little pressure on there. Spin with crossover. Sends it over to Lau. Lau up to Rands at the volleyball line. We're on the left side to Spin. In the corner, Spin back up towards the top of the arc. Kicks it back to the volleyball line to Lau. And we have a kick called here on Frontier. Comets will reset on the outside. 57 and a half seconds left in the half. Wow, coming back across from the backcourt. Needing some assistance there. Ooh. Bad pass was all he had. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. We're up to Zyder for three from the right. It's good. Drains it. And the Comets will call a timeout. We're going to take a moment to step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Comets Basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, auto, life, yeah. business, farm, right. boat, RV, ATV. Camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus, right. and I mentioned farm. Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The guys taken out to the hardwood. 40 and just over 40 seconds left here as the comments have stretched this out to an 11 point lead. Falcons are taking to take the ball out of bounds under their basket or under the Comets basket. Comets with heavy pressure on, barely gets it into Ingersoll. Ingersoll back to Bauer. Bauer going to come across midcourt. Kicks it off to Smith. Smith over to Ingersoll. Falcons running down the clock. It looks like looking to get the last shot of the half. Comets have really extended out, bringing that coverage clear out to the volleyball line. Ingersoll at the mid ring, middle ring. Three seconds now. Inside to Dwiggins. Dwiggins loses it. He puts it up at the buzzer, off the mark, and we'll go to halftime with the Comets with that 11-point lead. We're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors while I try to crunch some numbers here, and we'll have Good some luck. sort of st stats for you when we come back. Stay tuned. This is Comets Basketball on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today online at csbnetbank.com. This is the 32nd time Christmas has been hosted in this house. 
32 times decorating the tree. Holiday dinners. Memories. All protected by their independent agent. And the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here, F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some semblance of stats here from the first half, and I've got to say it's looking really good for the Comets. Uh, Comets shooting 33% outside the arc. They're 2 for 6. Uh, shooting 7 for 12 inside the arc and 5 for 7 from the free throw line. They went into the locker room. First half they had 6 fouls and uh, fairly evenly distributed. Hunter Shanelob is sitting on 2 fouls. Uh, the Falcons... One for seven outside the arc, four for 14 inside. They are shooting 75% from the three free throw line. They're three oh, wow. for four. Uh, they carried eight fouls into the half, um, but really they've got Cameron Mickle already sitting on three fouls. Uh, so he's gonna have to be super careful and he has spent a lot of time out here on the floor this morning. So, you know, that's somebody that, they, that they're gonna like to put out there. So anyway. Uh, turnovers, now this is where things are uh, not going to be quite as accurate as I would like. Um, I had Caston with six turnovers in the first quarter, Frontier with five, and then uh, kind of flip-flopping that second quarter, Comets with four, Frontier for six. So uh, both of them needing, both teams needing to uh, work, make sure they're getting those boards and just watch those sloppy passes. Oh, yeah. Um, First quarter score, very close. Uh, Comets with 10, Frontier with nine. Uh, the second quarter, though, is where the Comets really came alive, scoring 15 points while holding Frontier to only five. Oh yeah, they started to pull away. Absolutely, so um, they've met that spread, but as we know, it's not over until the fat lady, she starts a singing. Um, I don't know if you looked at the score during the JV game, during the JV game, the JV squad was leading with something like a, a 13. Like a 12 point lead. Yeah, 13, yeah, 15, somewhere in there at the half. And they managed to pull out the win with only a two or three point spread. So, um, you know, let's face it. We've seen a lot of teams go into the locker room and we're, whether, it's, whether they're ripped or encouraged, I, we, I don't know what's going on in the locker room, but we've seen a lot of teams come alive after the half and just come back and dominate. So the Comets absolutely have uh, no room to rest on laurels and they've got to come back and they've got to play the next two quarters just as hard as they played the second. Oh yeah. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got five minutes left here in halftime. Uh, so why don't you go ahead, refresh your popcorn, go ahead and grab whatever beverage you need. Come back here in just under five minutes for second half basketball. Comets and Falcons here on RTC TV4. All right, as the timer runs down on halftime, the Comets are going to start the second half with possession. 
and we were just talking to Hunter, and right across the way, there's a big get well soon sign for him over there. Oh, I see it, yeah. Luke Lau coming across mid-court, sends it to Rands. Rands underneath the Shane Lob. Shane Lob gonna open the second half with a score. 10 seconds in. Ingersoll coming up to mid-court. Spin, not giving him a lot of room there. Reaching in, nearly picks it off. Up to number 13, Arthur Zars. Zars at the volleyball line. Over to Bauer on the left. You play Euchre? Is that the left Bauer? Bad joke? Terrible joke. My bad. I don't I play Euchre. <laughs> Tried to learn. Up to Copas. Bauer for three. Wow, across midcourt. Sends it right, over to Spin. Spin gonna kick it out to Klein in the right corner underneath the Shane Lob. Shane Lob goes baseline over to Lau in the left corner, back down to Shane Lob underneath. He went up, he's gonna put it in, draw the foul, go to the line for a bonus. Foul there is on number 50, Ethan Dwiggins. That's his second, team first second half. Shane Lobb looking for the and one here. Just off the mark. And a foul on number 33, Mike Rands there on that uh, rebound attempt. That'll be his second, team first. Ball into Ingersoll. Spin's gonna pick his pocket, he's going to. Ingersoll over to Bauer. Bauer faking it, Rand's got his hand on the ball. He's on the ground, we're gonna end up with jump ball, it looks like. Falcons are gonna, uh, gonna keep that on for the jump ball. I told you somebody was gonna pick Bauer's pocket, I thought it was gonna be Spin, but Rand's got in there. Then they had to wrestle around on the ground. Copas for three. Off the back of the rim. Rands with that rebound. Spins two point attempt, no good. And we're gonna go out of bounds off the Falcons. Lau sending it back to Shane Lobb. Go, we're gonna put it underneath the Klein, off the mark. Falcons with that rebound. Bauer, up to the volleyball line. He's gonna send it over to the right to Angersoll. And we're gonna have a Falcons timeout, full timeout. We're gonna step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The guys are taking the floor. Comets with a 12-point lead right now. 5.47 left in the third. 
Falcons with the basketball. Ingersoll gonna send it in to Copas. Back to Ingersoll, up in the middle ring. Sends it right back to Copas. Copas in double coverage. Gonna call a shove, I think it was on Luke Lau. Was in fact, that'll be his first team second. That was a nice trap along the sideline. Deep to the backcourt to oh, wow. Zars. Zars back across midcourt. Spin waiting for him. Goes over to the right to Ingersoll. Ingersoll is going to send it underneath to Dwiggins. Dwiggins in double coverage. Out to Zars. Zars dumping it to Copas. Copas for three. Off the front of the rim. Rands with that rebound. Spin going into the paint, puts it in for two. Nice little thread in the needle there. Ingersoll with the basketball. Coming across midcourt. Spin waiting at the top of the key. Kicks it over to Zars on the right. Inside to Gerard, who's back in. Gerard puts it towards the basketball, draws the foul. I think that was on Rands. Was in fact. Foul on Mike Rands, his third. He's got a quarter and a half and two fouls. He's got to kind of watch those. Gerard at the line for two. First shot rolls right in there. Second shot up off the back of the rim. Comments with the rebound. Spin over on the right. He's going to go into the paint. Kicks it back out to Lau. Lau's going to get caught on that travel. He was uh, scooching out to get into three-point territory and <laughs> thought he'd get away with that one little step. He, he didn't. Sometimes you get those, though. Over here on the right to Wagner, or left, excuse me. Down to Gerard. Gerard tries to dish it to Dwiggins. Spin must have touched it trying to get a hold of it before it went out. Angersoul's going to take it out. Going to go up top to Zars. Zars to Wagner. Wagner to Angersoll. Angersoll to Zars. Brockwolf with the kick. Ball into Gerard. Back to Angersoll. Angersoll at the volleyball line. Dribbling across. Sends it over to Wagner. Wagner puts it underneath Gerard. Shove, that looked clean. Hunter just stood there with his hands up from the looks of it. But Foul was on Shane Law. Well, he did slide with him. Zyder's going to give Klein a minute on the bench. Sam Smith's going to come in and give Shane Law a break. Ball inbounded to Gerard. Gerard's going to dish it out to Zars. Zars into the paint and back out. Sends it to Wagner up at the volleyball line. Over to Ingersoll on the left. Back down to Wagner. Into the paint to Ingersoll. That was a really nice play. Nice pass and cut there. Good for two. Heavy pressure. Loud as Zyder. We had a foul here. Foul was on number 13, Arthur Zars, his first, team second. Lau down to the corner to Zyder, and Zyder with the travel. <laughs> a 
Ball into Wagner. Back over to Ingersoll. Back to Wagner. Wagner across the timeline. And he's going to carry it. Give it back to the Comets. We've got Mike Rands coming back in for the Comets. He's going to give Luke Lau a break. Frontier putting some pretty heavy pressure on. Ball goes into spin. Sends it to Rockwolf. Up to the top of the key to Zyder. Zyder for three and drains it. Decent shooting night for him, I see. He is. He's two for three from behind the arc. Ball to Gerard for the Falcons. He's going to dribble across, sends it over to Zars. And Wagner with the travel. Comets get the ball back. Number three, Cameron Mickle coming back in for the Falcons. Wagner back to the bench. Spin back to Rands. Comets trying to work it past this Falcons defense. Rands to Rockwolf. Rockwolf ended towards the paint. Just bounced over. Just barely didn't get that shot. Dwiggins knocking it out of bounds. Comets will keep it. Just over two and a half minutes left in the quarter. Into Smith. Up spin. Zyder Smith at the post. Gets swatted, knocked out of bounds by Dwiggins. Ethan Dwiggins is a big guy. He is. His height rivals Hunter's very well. And, and he might be broader. Ball into Sam Smith, over to Zyder. Left side to spin. Back to Zyder at the volleyball line, over to Rands. Rands towards the right. He's going to dribble in towards the arc. Sends it back up to spin. Spin to Rands. Rands goes baseline. Puts it up. No good. Couldn't get the foul on that. Falcons with the rebound. Zars, top of the key. Over to Ingersoll. Ingersoll about loses it. Keeps a hold of it. He's going to go baseline. Draw the foul off Sam Smith. Go to the line for two. That's Smith's first. Team sixth. Oh, fifth. Sorry. Kobe Ingersoll at the line for two. He's two for two so far. Three for three. Second shot up. Nothing but net. Rands takes the ball out of bounds. Floats it in to Rock Wolf. Rock Wolf across the timeline. Goes all the way down and travels. Twelve point lead for the Comets. One fifty two left in the quarter. Anger sold to Zar Zars. Zars across midcourt, dumps it down to the baseline to Gerard. Gerard, no good. Comments with that rebound. Zyder can't quite get the bucket. Just a little much. And uh, we're going to have a foul here. Is that on Rockwolf? It is. His second, team sixth. Luke Lau back in for the Comets. Luke Bauer back in for the Falcons. Comets getting ready to put the Falcons into bonus. Ball into Zars. Back to Ingersoll. Ingersoll to Mickle. Mickle to Zars. Back to Ingersoll. Kicks it over to Bauer at the volleyball line. Keeping the ball out around the volleyball line. They're looking for their play. We're going to go right, dump it off to Zars, back to Mickle at the top of the key. Over to Bauer. Pocket pick Stolen. by Rands. He's going to dump it back to Rock Wolf. Rock Wolf stop and go. Puts it in for two. 
Just under a minute left in the quarter. 36-22 Comets. Good defense going on here. Angersoll setting up the play. He'll dribble right, use a screen off his arse. Tries to pass it in, gets tipped, but there's a foul on the play. The foul was on number 13, Arthur Zars. His second, team third. Cam Klein back in for the Comets. He'll take it out of bounds. 32 seconds left in the quarter. Klein into Lau. Lau back to Klein. Klein stops. Sends it across to an open Lau. Lau's across midcourt. Got away with the travel there. It's all right. Klein dumps it over to Zyder. 17 seconds left in the quarter. Over to the right to Lau. Lau behind the three-point arc. Over to Rockwolf. 10 seconds now. Rockwolf goes baseline. Kicks it up to Zyder. Zyder's open. Sends it to Klein. Klein's open for three. In and out. Rebound by Cade Zyder. Zyder with the putback. No good. And that's the quarter. At the end of the third, Comets 36, Falcons 22. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first time home buyers. And with our premier first time home buyer program, there's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comets will start the fourth quarter with possession and a 14-point advantage. That said, uh, Comets have a couple of guys with three fouls, and they're also at a position to put the Falcons into single bonus. Ball into Sam Smith. We're going to send it out to Hunter Shanlob. Back to the volleyball line to Luke Lau. Cade Zider in the center ring with it now. Sends it to Klein. Klein on the left, looking for his pass, sends it underneath to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb goes underneath and puts it in for two. Falcons lobbing it deep to Mickle. Mickle into the paint to Gerard. Gerard's going to take it all the way, puts it in for two. Klein's going to go down towards baseline. Draw the foul off of Gerard. He'll go to the line for two. Gerard's third. It's team's fourth. Climb the line for two. First one's up and good. Mike Rand's back in for the Comets. Second shot up. Nothing but net. Ingersoll now at the center ring. He'll go left, send it over to Bauer. You gonna call that a foul on Zyder? I think we're gonna call that a foul on Zyder. We call that a foul on Zyder, his second. Team seventh, he's gonna send Bauer to the line for one on one. Joey Spin back in for the comments. First shot off the mark. 
Girard with the rebound, gets the lucky bounce on that. Shenlaw behind the back, sends it to Rand, Rand into the paint, and Straight off the, the mark. Cam Klein getting a rebound. Kick it out to Lau on the left side. Shane Lobb on the left. Fake, back to Lau. Heavy defense here, gonna send it over to Cam Klein. Klein to Shane Lobb at the free, uh, free throw line. Over to Lau in the left corner. 33, Justin Smith all over Lau. Spin, drive baseline. Stops. Oh, they called a travel on him. You could see he was trying to maintain he that He was trying foot. to keep that foot planted. Ethan Dwiggins back in for the Falcons. Copas over to Smith, back to Copas, back to Smith, back to Copas, still behind the timeline. There he's across. And a double coverage. And we've got a Falcons timeout. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors here on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years, and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 552 left in the game. Comets 40, Falcons 26. And I had a realization during that break there, Gavin. The cheerleaders are wearing long sleeve shirts underneath their lymphoma t-shirts. I don't know how they're not dying. It's hot in here. Mm -hmm. It is. I'm not <laughs> even moving and I'm sweating. Ingersoll at the volleyball line. Sends it over to Smith. Smith underneath to Gerard. Gerard in double coverage. He puts it up. No good. Shane Lobb can't quite get that rebound. And it'll go out off the Comets. Rock Wolf back in for the Comets. Klein taking a break. Ingersoll sends it into Copas, gets picked off by Rockwolf. Sends it to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb will put two more on the board. For a second there, I thought that the ball was going to roll I thought it was going to roll the wrong way, and there's nobody else there to help. Ingersoll, one on one with Spin at the volleyball line. He's going to head towards the left. Sends it back up to Smith. Smith nearly sends it back across midcourt. Over to Copas on the right. Back up to Smith at the volleyball line. Gerard in the paint. Back out to Smith. Smith for three. Drains it. Coach Joe Smith down here for the Falcons. His head matches his shirt, and his shirt is very red. Ball into Zyder, Zyder to Rands. Triple coverage down here on our uh, inbound team. We're gonna send it deep to Rockwolf. Rockwolf tries to dish it over to the post to Shanlob, gets batted out of bounds by number 24, Max Copas. Spin gonna take it out under the basket. 
Lobs it in deep to Zyder. Zyder and Rands collided. Rands got a hold of it. He's gonna send it down underneath to Shane Lob. Shane Lob getting swatted by Gerard. I don't know that was entirely clean, but nothing called on it. Anger so at the volleyball. Definitely nuts. Travel there on Justin Smith. Yeah, that's the thing though. That's they're they're down there. They got a job to do. They're the bosses. I like a game though where they kind of just let them play. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Not quite looking for schoolyard, no blood, no foul rules, but heavy pressure here by the Falcons. Got a foul called. Foul was on number 14, Luke Blissett, his first. Team fifth. Four ten left in the game, 42-29 Comets. Spin at the center ring. Sends it over to Lau on the right. Back up to spin. Back to Lau. Lau's gonna send it down to baseline. Rockwolf for three. Just bounced off. Got his own rebound. And uh, we're gonna call it a jump ball and a quick tie up. Falcons will take possession. Ball into Wagner. Back to Bauer. Bauer the middle ring. Fakes left, goes right, sends it to Copas. Underneath to number 14, Luke Blissett. Swatted out of bounds on a clean block. Kind of surprised they didn't call that an over the back foul, Gav. Ball into Bauer. Top of the ring to, or top of the key to Copas. And timeout Falcons. We're going to step away for these words here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. At CoAlliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. CoAlliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact CoAlliance today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 3.33 left on the clock. 42.29 comments. Falcons have the basketball. Ball into Bauer. Bauer approaching the Three-point arc, sends it over to Smith. Keeping the ball there on the right. Over to Wagner, same spot. Wagner to Copas. Copas sends it underneath to Blissett, goes out of bounds. Comets basketball. Wait, Rands looked upset. Oh, we had a foul called on Joey Spin. That's why Rands was upset. Number 14, Luke Blissett at the line for one and one. Cade Zider back in for the comments. Shots up, off the mark for Blissett. Falcons with that rebound, sends it out to Smith. Smith for three, off the mark and spin with that rebound. Spin driving towards the paint, loses control right into the arms of Copas. Bauer, double fake, spin move in the paint, gonna draw the foul off of Zyder. 
Ziders third. Team ninth. I, ref says he gets two. I don't think he was shooting yet, but first shot good. Bauer maintaining his 50% free throw average. Like I said, they need as many points as they can get. Cameron Mickle back in for the Falcons. Second shot, nothing but net. Wow, back to Rands, heavy coverage here. Going to send it deep to Shane Lobb, overshot him. And the Falcons will get the ball back. Coach Davis can't be happy about a pass that looks like that. Matter of fact, he's not. He's going to call a timeout and talk to the guys. We'll be right back after these words on RTC TV4. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 2.45 left on the clock. Comets with an 11-point lead. Falcons with possession down at the Comets' end of the court. Ball into Mickle. Spin waiting on him at the Comets' own volleyball line. Mickle goes to dump it to Bauer. And Luke uh, Lau. yeah, Luke Lau picks that pass off. Smith getting a little handsy there. Maybe could have been a reach. Nothing called. Spins got it over here on the right. Going to give it to Rands in the right corner. Heavy coverage. Dumps it to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb gets fouled hard on the way to the basket. He'll go to the line for two. Fouls on number 24, Max Copa is his first. How do you get this deep in the game and just now have a foul when you've played as many minutes as Copas has? Team six. Shots up, it's good. Rockwolf back in for the Comets. Second shot up, nothing but net. Bauer to Smith, deep to the right corner to Mickle. Copas, gonna dump it back to Mickle. Up to Bauer. Bauer to Smith in the volleyball line, 156 left. Over to Mickle. Mickle's going to head right, send it off to Smith. Back to Mickle, up to the volleyball line to Wagner. Bauer now in a Falcon timeout. We'll be back after this message here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. 139 left on the clock. Comets with a 13 point lead. Both teams looking at bonus. Falcons looking at double bonus. Falcons sending the ball into the backcourt to Mickle. Up to Wagner. Wagner the volleyball line. Sends it to Smith on the right. Smith. Clear to the right corner to Wagner. Up to the top of the key to Copas. Mickle on the left back to Copas. 
Cope is going to uh, head towards the key, dumps it off to Smith, and Smith for three. And we'll have a kick here on Nickel. Rands into Lau. Lau keeps a hold of it. Sends it to Shane Laub. Shane Laub on the right. Back up to Rands. Or not to Rands. Lau. Now Rands has it at the middle ring. Over Shane Laub. All these guys got to do is move the ball around. Rands to act. Or Shane Laub acts like he's going to drive. Rands has it. Sends it to the left to spin. Klein at the volleyball line. Over to Lau. Rands. Now spin. And we've got a foul here. Foul on number 10. Foul on number 10, Matt Wagner, his first. Team seven, Spin will go to the line for one one He's got a pretty good shot, so. He's a 75% for the night. Shots up, nothing but net. Second shot up, rattles in, we like it. Smith back to Copas, 35 seconds on the clock. Underneath to Blissett, Blissett for two. Ball into Lau, Spin has it, it's tipped out of his hands, there's gonna be a foul called here. Foul on that reach in. getting to go to the line again. He is. Foul on number Ow. 14, Luke Blissett. Spin at the line for another one and a bonus. Ten point spread right now. 19-6 on the clock. Sam Smith back in. Rock Wolf back in. And Wyatt Brummett in for the comp. Shots up, that one's good. Second shot up, nothing but net. Micah Colvin coming in for the Comets. Justin Smith taking it out for the Falcons. Sends it to Mickle back to Smith. 16 in the game. Over to Wagner. Wagner puts it up for two, no good. Comets with that rebound. Rockwolf with the ball. Sends it over to Colvin. Smith. And there's the buzzer. Final score here tonight is 48-36 uh, Comets. Well, uh, John Harrell predicted that perfectly. Yeah, he did. 12-point spread. I mean, it's right on about the points. So uh, I'm going to step away here for a word from our sponsors while I try to get some stats ready. And then uh, I think that we will have uh, Coach Davis come up to talk to us here in a minute. So stay tuned for the post-game wrap-up. This has been Comets Basketball and Casting TV on RTC TV4. RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. 
The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. Slow download, constant buffering, Wi-Fi dead zone? Let RTC help. The customer support team at RTC Communications is here to help you with your internet connectivity. Hi, I'm Bonnie, one of the support team members here at RTC. For a small fee, RTC offers a Wi-Fi health check where we will evaluate your in-home Wi-Fi network and assist you with common issues. See what RTC can do for you. Give us a call today. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. Upgrading your RTC internet can really rev up your Wi-Fi. Here's why. Wi-Fi is a stream of data flowing through your home, and each online device removes a portion of that data, which can slow you down. Luckily, small changes make a big difference. First, choose the fiber internet speed that's right for you. Upgrade to a whole home mesh Wi-Fi network and secure your network with a password. Contact RTC Fiber Communications to get your Wi-Fi up to speed. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I just got done wrapping up numbers, and Coach Davis is up here to talk to us already. Uh, congratulations, Coach. The guys look good out there tonight. Thank you. I, re I really appreciate it. And I, I want to make sure I mention, uh, you know, obviously the varsity gets a win. Uh, JV got a win today. And then our C team this morning in the cast and tourney uh, won both their games, beat McConaughey and Logan Sport to win the tourney. So what a great day for cast and basketball going 4-0 at the high school level. Excellent, excellent. And uh, i got to say, pretty outstanding free throw percentage here tonight. Um, shooting about 50% inside the arc, it looks like, and 33% outside the arc. And those are always kind of low percentage shots. And the Falcons really put on a heavy defense tonight. So uh, there weren't a lot of open shots to be had. Most of those seem to be under duress. So I, I, I you know, I'm not the coach, but to me, those averages on, on a hard-fought game seem like they're pretty good. Uh, final score again, 12 point spread there. Was, uh, was there anything you were looking for you didn't see? Anything that you weren't expecting and you did see? I mean. Well, it, you know, you started with free throws there. That's, that's definitely been our Achilles heel. We've been shooting under 50% in the last three games. And, uh, you know, uh, I thought those, the free throws we hit, we hit all game and especially uh, down the stretch there were, were really big. So uh, a testament for those guys to, uh, keep coming in and getting some extra work in with the free throws and, and being able to knock them down tonight. But yeah, I thought, I thought you know we we had a lot of contested shots tonight. Not a, not a lot of wide open looks as you said. And I thought our guys finished well inside. Uh, you know, I thought we played against a team that we we could really take advantage of shot fakes against. And you know, I thought our kids did a really good job of buying into that and got some guys up in the air and finished with with some fouls as well. So uh, just really really proud of the way guys played. Uh, you know, I said at halftime we we played. Uh, I think we played nine guys in the first half, and all nine of them did something positive. And there's not a lot of times you can, you can say that, especially when guys were just in for short spurts at times. But, you know, I thought really we had uh, a really balanced attack tonight, and I thought that, that regardless of whether it was number one or, or number nine getting in the game, uh, they gave us good, good quality minutes, and they were engaged and ready to go. Well, absolutely. You hit on something I was going to say, and I'm glad you did. That way I can't forget because I have a brain like Swiss cheese. Um, but – in in games past and i haven't had an opportunity this has been my first opportunity to see the guys play this season so uh really really awesome first game for me to catch this year but i know in, in games past years past it's been very common for us to have one or maybe two guys who own the scoreboard and tonight uh, you know we we had hunter shane Lobb was a uh, really high percentage there as he went in uh, from the post we had joey spin 
only missing one free throw. I mean, it, the score's all over the place. Cade Zider, two for three from outside the arc. It's not just one name. And um, it's, it's good to see. It's good as a Commons fan, and it's definitely good as a program. So keep up the good work, Coach. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me up. Have a great weekend. You too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, Gav, Gav had to head out. He wasn't feeling well. Um, and like I said, I, we've had Autumn here doing our camera work for us tonight. Uh, we appreciate your viewership, and we'd like you to join us again next Friday uh, as the, well, let's just... There we go. Next Friday, as the uh, casting guys host the Knox Redskins. And then uh, a week from today, we will have the uh, cast and girls hosting Anderson Prep. So a couple of good games lined up for next weekend. Hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us. This has been Cast and Basketball and Cast and TV on RTC TV4.